fellow humans of the internet, it is me, your buddy Nessa, back at you again with another edition of Squared Circle Addicts. Now today, what we are going to be doing is going over the TakeOver Blackpool card, and then I'm essentially going to be giving you my predictions, or more so, my wants and what I want to see happen. Um, so yeah, uh, NXT TakeOver Blackpool takes place tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and 7 p.m. for you guys in the UK. Um, if you weren't already planning on watching it, I highly suggest that you go on the WWE Network and watch it. And if you don't have a WWE Network subscription, just do it. You get a free trial. I think tomorrow uh, is going to be an awesome morning or night of wrestling, <laughs> depending on which, which time zone that you're in. I think tomorrow's going to be awesome. It's going to be an a uh, historic night because it's the first ever NXT UK takeover and I think I think it's going to be amazing and I think that if people aren't watching they're going to miss out. Um so yeah, I highly suggest that you watch it if you weren't already doing it. Just just watch it to make me happy because it's going to be some good stuff, especially um, coming up after the uh, major announcement that Triple H made this morning that NXT UK will now have its own performance center, which means now we have two performance centers, one in Florida and one in the UK. And I think with this new performance center opening up, it opens a lot of possibilities for the WWE. It opens doors for tremendous talent from the UK scene to come into the WWE and if anybody knows anything about professional wrestling, they know that the Brits have a <laughs> rich history of wrestling and the UK crowds are something different. It's like an entirely different animal compared to the crowds in the USA. So I think with this new Performance Center announcement, great things are going to happen. I've said it on my social medias, I think right now is an amazing time to be a professional wrestling fan. Not only that, but it's an amazing time to be a WWE fan. A lot of times, um, you know, people like myself and, and maybe some of you watching like to give the WWE a lot of flack, but to be completely honest, they have done so many great things uh, this year, last year, whatever you want to say. We're only in January, so. But they, they've done a lot of good things, and they've. I think right now they're kind of realizing that, you know, with other wrestling promotions coming up and getting created, they need to step up their game, and I definitely think that they are doing that, and I think NXT UK TakeOver tomorrow will showcase that. So um, let's get into predictions, shall we? Uh, the first match of the night, we are going to see Travis Banks face off against Jordan Delvin. And uh, <laughs> to be honest, with this match, I'm a little bit Switzerland because I enjoy uh, both talents. And I definitely think that this match um, has potential to be one of the better matches of the night. I, I feel like it, it might be like the hidden gem of the card because with all else that is going on, I feel like this one might be getting lost in the shuffle. Um, but I definitely think Travis Banks and Jordan Delvin have the um, you know opportunity to tear the house down. Um, and like I said, with this one, I respect both talents. I enjoy both talents. So to be honest, I'm okay with whoever wins this one, but... I tend to lean more towards the Jordan Delvin side, so that's what I'm going to go with, Jordan Delvin over Travis Banks. Um, the second match of the card is Dave Mastiff versus Eddie Dennis in a no disqualification match. And in this match, we are seeing the trope of David versus Goliath in the sense that Dave Mastiff is much bigger than Eddie Dennis, and I think, you know, a lot of people... Um, want Dave Mastiff to win, or not necessarily want, but are expecting him to win, um, just because he's been on a roll as of late in NXT UK, he's been racking up a bunch of wins, um, and I'm going to side with the majority and say that Dave Mastiff is going to win, simply because I feel like since he's been on such a roll lately, it would be almost um, a grave injustice um, for him to lose on the first NXT UK TakeOver. I feel like it kind of like slows down his run that he's been having as of late. So for that one, I'm going to go with Dave Mastiff. Um, the third match of the night, we are going to see 
Mustache Mountain versus Grizzled Young Veterans for the inaugural NXT UK Tag Team Championships. And to be honest, this one is really cut and dry for me. There's like no middle ground. It's just all Mustache Mountain or nothing to me because I feel like they have been a legitimate tag team. They have been on a tear. They have beaten some of the best. They beat Undisputed Era unexpectedly. Had a short tag team title run, but then it was taken away from them, obviously, because they probably had other plans for them, sending them to the NXT UK brand. Um, but I definitely think that for it being the inaugural tag team titles, I think that it makes sense for them to have it because they are pretty much the standard bear for the NXT UK tag team division and I think that if it goes the other way around it's going to confuse a lot of people and probably piss a lot of people off so I'm definitely going to go with Mustache Mountain for this one uh, and so yeah on to the co-main event the co-main event is for the NXT UK Women's Championship as Tony Storm challenges Rhea Ripley, and it's a little bit of a spoiler alert of who I'm rooting for. Uh, if you're wondering if I did that on purpose, yes, I did this on purpose. I am going for none other than the mosh pit kid, the nightmare, Rhea Ripley. Um, and I say that wholeheartedly. Don't get me wrong, guys. I love Tony Storm. I am all about. Tony time. I, I, I love them both. I've been following them both since the very first Mae Young Classic because as you guys know, or maybe you don't, I am homegrown WWE 100%. Yes, I enjoy other promotions, but WWE is, is my main love. And so I barely got acquainted with both Rhea and Tony due to the Mae Young Classic, the first one in 2016. So, um, you know... But I think that match is going to be a barn burner. Um, I feel like they're going to tear the house down, especially because both of them are friends in real life. And I feel like when that happens, there's that chemistry there. Um, I want Rhea Ripley to win simply because I want her to be on a tear in NXT UK. I kind of want her to be a monster hill uh, because I feel like we haven't really seen that in the WWE in a long time. Uh, I mean, Shayna Baszler is, is a great heel, but uh, she, she lost her championship and then won it back, but, you know, her first reign wasn't that long, and her second reign, hopefully, it kind of does what I want Rhea Ripley's reign to do, because I think it would be great for Rhea to um, essentially run roughshod through the entire NXT UK division, um, and then... What I would do, ultimately, because I think it's a better uh, Cinderella story, is to have Tegan Knox be the one to ultimately take the title off of Rhea, simply because of, of the fact that, you know, Tegan Knox sustained a real-life injury during her match with Rhea Ripley, and although it wasn't Rhea's fault, uh, Rhea's kind of been playing it up on Twitter and doing her natural heel work, and that's another thing, I think... Rhea Ripley is a phenomenal heel. Her mic work is insane. Her Twitter game is insane. It's crazy. I love it. I, I'll admit it 100% right now. I am a Rhea Ripley mark. I'm a Rhea Ripley stan. Judge me if you will. I don't care. But, um, yeah, I definitely want to see Rhea Ripley win this one. But I think um, Tony Storm has a little bit of the edge um, simply because, like, you know, there's that story about how you know, she injured her back during her match with Rhea Ripley when they first, um, you know, squared off for the title. And now she's coming back and trying to prove herself. And I think it's going to be a feel-good story type of thing, especially because, you know, um, a lot of people love Toni Storm. And I think right now, you know, they're trying to build her as the face of the NXT UK division. Again, I ultimately would, would pick Ray, Rhea as my face, uh, but... Uh, that that's just me, but I think it can go either way. And to be completely honest, I have such a huge amount of love for the both of them that I would be fine either way. Uh, but again, my heart lies 
with the Mosh Pit Kid. So I'm really hoping Rhea Ripley uh, picks up the win and continues her title reign. Especially because even though she won the title in August, it really didn't air on the network until November, like late November. It might have even been early December. So technically, she hasn't even had it for a month. So I feel like she has had it for longer than a month. She Her first title defense was at Evolution, I believe, against Dakota Kai, but we didn't get to see that. If we ever will, I don't know. Hopefully the network puts it on there somehow. I, I don't know. But, um, you know, like technically to us and for the people who don't follow you know, wrestling on Twitter or whatever, they might not know that Rhea Ripley has had the title since August. You know, a lot of people, to the naked eye, they she's only had it since, like, like I said, late November, maybe even December. So I feel like for her being this hill of a character and, like, you know, throwing her weight around, um, I think that she needs a longer reign. But again, I I don't know. I think we might get that Cinderella story tomorrow with Tony Storm, but again... I think the real Cinderella story lies with Tegan Knox, but but that's just me. Let me know what you guys think. Am I crazy? Am I? Let me know. Um, okay, and now we move on to the main event of the night, which is Joe Coffey challenging Pete Dunne for the NXT UK Championship. Um, again, I feel like this match is going to be sick. And I cannot wait to watch it. I cannot wait to, to watch the Bruiserweight do his thing, which probably is a, another spoiler. Yes, I am going for Pete Dunne. He's had the title for 600 days now. Can you believe that? A monumental 600 days. And I think that's, like, unheard of. And I feel like, um, I wouldn't say not not a lot of people are sleeping on Pete Dunne, but I feel like there's there's some people that haven't jumped on the train yet, if you will, and uh, if you haven't, I think you're, you're surely mistaken. I think Pete Dunn is a natural, a ring general, a, he just, I don't know, he just, like, everything about him, to me, says, like, superstar, or, for lack of a better word, the word that I like better, professional wrestler. He's, he's so unique, so different. I love the guy, and I, I definitely would, would love to see his reign continue. Hell, I would even love to see him go on the main roster and still be the UK champion and maybe do some type of thing where it's like he defends it on, on like Raw or SmackDown, wherever he goes. I don't know. I think that would be rad. Um, like I said, I, I think he might even have like the longest modern day title reign. So props to Pete Dunne, but I would love to see him continue that reign, and I think that makes the most sense, and I think that's the best decision to do, especially if, um, you, with it being, you know, the first ever NXT UK takeover, and I think, uh, essentially, you always want to send the crowd home happy, and I think, uh, in order to do that, they have to keep the title on Pete Dunne, but that's just me, so, yeah, a little bit of a short video today, but those are my predictions for tomorrow. What do you guys think? Do you guys agree with me? Do you disagree? Do you agree with some of the things? Disagree with some of the things? Let me know. Sound off below. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this channel. It's really, really small right now. It's a, it's a baby channel. I think I have 28 subscribers. So thank you for uh, the 28 of you. Thank you for supporting it. And hopefully you guys stick with me and we, we continue to grow this channel. But yeah, guys, take care, stay safe, stay happy, but as always, stay addicted to the squared circle.